All right, the red is on, man, for real. Got my queen on the camera. That's what's happening. Yo, what's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, Rep Master, checking in with you on this beautiful God-given Tuesday in the Shy City. And I am excited and delighted to be here with you guys for another tutorial, all right? And I just want to say big ups to my man, Mr. Hard Body Training out there in the East Coast once again, for real. Um, I watched a video of his and it was actually a collaboration of him and myself. Mr. Hardbody performed my uh, regimen, which was a chest and shoulder regimen for 785 reps with all neutral grip um, exercises, you know what I mean, from the dumbbells to the push-ups, okay, and the dips as well. So. When you know somebody is passionate about fitness, there's no excuses, man. Never quit, never stop. Um, Howard Body actually simulated a bench because he didn't have one out of um, Tupperware and some type of board, man. One of the most phenomenal things that I had ever seen to create an incline bench press, man, off the chain. You guys need to go check out that video. It's the um, Howard Body Rep Master collaboration, and he'll demonstrate to you how you can come up with your own creativity to create intensity and not miss out on the intensity. So with that, I got inspired from my man's hard body to come up with this tutorial to show you guys an economical way that you can make a bench, a shoulder press, and an incline bench out of this bad boy right here, okay? You can get it from Walmart, Target, uh, five and below for if you're in Illinois, or local stores, wherever, you know what I mean? They range between 10 to 20 bucks or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is kick it off, all right? Um, I'm going to start out with the basic shoulder press. As you can see, I'm just seated here. My body is sitting upright. We want to make sure that the structure is tight, okay? And for people that have lower back issues like myself, this is very conducive. This is actually more comfortable than a chair or a bench, and it's more supportive for the lower back, the sacrum, and the L5, and things like that, all right? So real basic. I'm going to kick it off, okay? Real basic. Shoulder press, start at 90 degrees. It's your choice to either go straight up or sometimes if you if you have a barbell, okay, you can go straight up. You can even use a long barbell, okay? If you have dumbbells, you can come up and in. Up, 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 up and in as such, or go straight up, raising the roof. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, guys, now, I'm gonna show you how you can turn this into a compound exercise if you decide to do so to make more intensity. You can go from a shoulder press and not even leave the ball and go right into the medial chest press, all right? I'm gonna show you the position. I'm just gonna roll down and such, okay? My head is not resting on the ball, but the majority of my upper back and definitely the middle back is on the ball for core stability. And when you have weight, it'll actually feel like you have more stability because it will, it will give you that, um, that resistance to keep you locked in, okay? So the same principle, if you have a barbell, you can actually use a long barbell and just bend straight up as such. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll do it a little bit slower, okay? Now, if you have dumbbells and you wanna come up and in, same principle, just control. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, okay. Now, real quick guys, I wanna show you guys a side angle before I go into the incline. This is just gonna repeat the medial chest press so that you're able to see how comfortable this is, all right? Even though my head is not resting, like I said, it's the upper back and the middle back. I'm gonna come here, this, tag, this tags the medial chest, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Now, from here, I'm gonna give you guys two different angles, man. This is very crucial, but yet one, one exercise that I love the most. Now you can actually do incline with this ball. Okay, you start from here. Now, you're gonna roll all the way down until the entire head and the upper portion of your body is supported on the ball, and you do that by simply coming here. Okay, I didn't slip or anything. As you can see, the buttocks is not touching the floor, so I'm technically not resting, all right? So that's still more challenge on the core. And as I stabilize, right here. As you guys can see, the position leads me right to the upper chest press because the way that I'm, um, the way that I am on the ball, okay? You just press straight up. If you have a barbell, you can go straight up. Two, three, four, five. Turn it into dumbbells and go up and in. One, two, Three, four, five. You come up on the bar. That's such, all right? 
no pressure on the lower back. I'm gonna switch it and show you guys one more angle for the incline, all right? So that you can see it from that angle and how comfortable my neck is on the ball or resting on the ball, all right? So same thing, start from here. We're gonna go down, okay? Look at that. No strain on the neck, no strain on the head, all upper chest, getting that work in. Stabilize the core, buttocks is not touching the ground, all right? And we just squeeze up and in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can take it and go straight up. One, two, three, four, five. Come up. Now it puts you back in the, well, the wall was right there, but it puts you back in the original position. Go into the shoulder press if you want to repeat that cycle over again and turn it into, um, you know, a three exercise series in one set, you know what I mean? So you can go from shoulder press to medial chest press right into incline press, you know what I mean? All in one, or you can just break it up and do sets of 15. If you're training for hypertrophy, obviously you go eight to 12, right? So with that said, man, I hope that was informative enough. And if it was, please hit me with your questions, comments, and conversations and positivity because every time I hit that red button, that's damn sure what I aim to do for you guys, all right? So with that said, your boy Rep Master telling you much love, much peace, much soulness, and whatever you do, stay true, keep God first, and everything is guaranteed to be all right. Enjoy the remaining of y'all day in full bliss.